<laughs> all right, we're gonna start from the ego. All right, I'll only have been asked questions about Robert Doomsday and BG. All right, well, I'm JR, People's Champ. I'm Joel, they call me K. I'm set to desert, call me P. And we were the three that were on the scene when all this happened. We're gonna take it from the basics, and I know a lot of people have been asked questions like, what happened, were there drugs, or this and that, but we're gonna tell you what we know. Just what we saw, and that's it. We're not gonna sit here and tell you about what we think or what we heard. We were actually there, we're the only witnesses that actually witnessed oh. everything. From the get go, like I said, we're not gonna try to like, fabricate information or like do anything unnecessary because we're telling what we saw. We weren't there in the room. We were there to see the action that transpired. Life. I'm not lying to you now. I'm sitting here telling you what I saw was unbelievable by all human feats in my entire life. Unreal what I saw that night. This is something you don't see every day. And we start walking up to the hotel room. And we hear a glass break. Now, I mean, that doesn't sound like crazy, but you hear a glass break in a hotel room. The first thing we all three did instinctively was look for the glass broke at. Fourth floor. Literally, I look up. This glass broke from the fourth floor of the hotel room that we're staying at. Looking up. I'm not sure what to think at this point. All at that point I saw about four seconds later was a body. A huge body come out head first and flip down onto the first floor which a lot of people if you know about the Grand Hyatt Hotel there is a level underneath that where you've got your other rooms, banquet rooms. your banquet rooms, banquet rooms, all that. That's what we saw the body land on. We don't even know if he broke the glass. Whatever broke the glass happened. Now we heard the glass break. We look up. Four seconds later, there's a body tumbling out, literally tumbling out head first. He didn't jump. He didn't dive. No one pushed him. He wasn't completely out of his mind. He was out the window, and it just seemed like he leaned against it because when he leans against it, he does a front flip out, and he lands. Kind of like Snow Angel in the back. For us, not really fun, but the craziness happens because we are going through this moment. We are going through this moment. We are living this moment. It's not like we're making this up. It's not like we're trying to exaggerate the moment or tell you anything unnecessary or trying to do anything like that. But literally, we look up and we see a guy fall out the window. My immediate response is, I run over there and I try to jump up and climb. And I immediately yell, you're not Miles Morales. You're not Spider-Man. And I down. immediately follow him and tell him, look, we don't need two bodies on the ground at the moment. And that's true, because we're always constantly joking with each other, even in ridiculous moments. So I tell him, like, look, man, get down. This right. is not a good... This is not, like, it's not going to happen well for any of us right now. First off, they're telling you that he only fell once. He did not fall once. Fell twice. And they're trying to talk about 15 feet. I'm going to tell you here, here right now, the man fell three stories the first time. You know damn well that's not 15 You're talking. Feet. I'm putting up an image right now on the screen right now to show you the exact height that we're at and the building that he fell out of. I can pinpoint the exact moment. I'm going to highlight it right here. See this moment? We're highlighting it in the, in the post. He fell out of that onto the first level and the level's like a banquet room, all kinds of stuff. He's on top of that. He gets up after his first fall. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you this right now. That's so why I'm going to interject a little bit, JR. These guys are trying to get help. Like, we're all yelling for help. Call 911. You know, like, we, we want to do this for y'all. But we cursed out the valet. A lot of people around because they're just standing around looking crazy. And we're like, man... There's a body that just came out of a window. Somebody called for help. Somebody gets These guys help. left. I'm sitting here trying to figure out what's going on. I watched a man that went down, you know. At least 40 feet. At least 40, at least 40, feet. Feet, at least 40 raise feet. Raise up and walk towards me and then fall 
off of that last stretch. He landed on what we figured out was a scaffold. They, they were cleaning came. the windows. They were they, there's a note in the thing that says, Hey, excuse our da 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 we are cleaning windows. Right. So So the window cleaner thing. Like they're climbing. He lanes. lands on that. His body is so big, it literally bends all the steel on that. Like I, I watched that happen. So he lands on that. I'm thinking this guy's done again. You know, he walked off, landed on that. I'm like, hey, somebody. So these guys run back. As they're running back, this man gets up again, shakes it off. I'm ten feet away from him. I'm like, you're all right, man. This man looks at me dead in the face and just shakes his body. I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry about it. And he starts walking on the sidewalk like nothing ever happened to him in the first place. Like that concrete, whatever that ceiling was, whatever those four stories were, were nothing, nothing. to his body. And I swear to God, this guy is huge. Like huge. I'm talking massive. And he just shook it off like it was nothing. Nothing to him. This guy jumps in immediately. Because he comes back and he's like, hey. Sit down. And he's, he's, you know what? They, they're going to say that he was this or he was that. Dude, for someone who just fell three stories and then another story, like literally you five fall in four stories. Right. Was pretty coherent. He was pretty on the, on, on the mark. I mean, I guess he thought it was coach. I don't know. Like, I'm a fairly cool guy. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. He literally takes a knee and then sits down. Because I told him, like, dude, you don't need to walk in and move. You just fell. He's like, yes, sir, yes, sir. Takes a knee. And he then lays down on his back. And at this point, now I'm concerned because he starts breathing. And he's like, ugh, ugh. And that's when I'm panicking. I'm like, dude. You know, I start talking to him. He's laid all the way out. Dude, I I, I watch a lot of college football. I will tell you that. I'm wearing a Notre Dame shirt right now. And I didn't know who this guy was. They were like, this is, his friends were out there. He had a friend that had I'm shaking my head because he's a Notre Dame fan. I'm a Clemson fan, so let's not even worry about this. (laughs) (laughs) Hold on discussion. Hold on discussion. But, so, we talked to this guy, and he tells me his name. And I'd send his friend up, I'm like, hey, you need to grab his ID. We need to learn what he's allergic to. We need to know all kinds. And we're we're doing this. I want to keep him conscious, because this guy is literally hurt. Like, you fell out of a four-story building. But you were, like, ready to destroy the world. I don't know. He's not hurt. Like, he's not I'm hurt. telling you, this guy had blood all over his body. And I'm not even saying from the fall. Because it looked like it was maybe from him gripping the side of the window when he jumped out. Because the window was broken, all that. I don't know. There was no cuts. I, I can't even tell you. I just saw blood on him. But it almost seemed like it was not his blood. I don't know. Because this guy literally walked away from two falls. Two falls. I rolled off my bed and hurt myself. This dude just fell for me. <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you. Right? This guy is amazing. If you want to say his draft stock is going to drop, I'm telling any coach or anyone out there, I saw this guy fall down four stories. And get up. Let a running back run at him and see what happens. Like, yeah. You could put him in like any position, and this guy is going to do it. I'm telling you. like, I'm blown away by what I saw because this man literally, just shook off something that most people would die from. We're talking die from, and this man was like, this concrete's nothing to me. Like, <laughs> this, this ceiling's no nothing to me. That's the ultimate, there is no ceiling to this. This guy was ever. Like the black Incredible Hulk. I mean, he's wearing like sweatpants, <laughs> and he's just walking up to me. No, no shirt. shirt on, and he's just, yes, sir. Yeah, And I'm, dude was completely just on my level of talking to him. I'm like, dude, I don't know what you just did, but you're amazing. You fell four so I fell off my bed, like I said, I hurt myself. I stepped on my ca- car and hit my knee, thought I was going to die. But this dude, four stories. I'm three stories the first time, and then another story the second time, onto a metal rafting. Like, that is just unnecessary. The rafting got more hurt than he did. Yeah, literally. Literally. Got more hurt than he did. And the fact that, you know, the whole time, you know, he especially is running around trying to help him. All three of us are. Like, we're just trying to engage him in the best way. But I'll be honest with you. The man looked like a Yeti coming out of the woods when he dropped that last story. I'm like, man, you know, at the same time, 
you don't even know what he's, you know, prepared for because this man just dropped four stories. You know, this is this is this is another level. Like you've never seen anything like this in your life. And I know there's a lot of people out there right now talking about, you know, whatever charges he got, the things we don't know about. We're just talking about what we saw. But this man right here shook off four stories. Shook off. Dropping down like that. And was like, I'm all right. Don't worry about me. Like, when you see that, and you're telling me that this man's draft stock's going to, like, drop? No way. No. No way. Remember, because when he fell the first time, I freaked out. I'm not going to lie. I panicked. I ran over there. I tried to climb up a scaffolding. They yelled at me. And... People don't usually live after that, man. They don't. And so I, I did what I did. And by the way, if you've listened to 911 calls, that valet, I want to punch him in the face. Listen, Horrible. we listened to the 911 call. Garbage. Horrible. I'm telling you, she was right. They're trying to get a hold of the valet. The valet's garbage. We were there. The valet just looked at us when they said, we said, call 911. The first thing I did after I couldn't get up on the roof was run, cuss out the valet. And I'm not going to say like what I said to him exactly. But I cussed a lot. And I said, dude, call call the ambulance. Please call. And I ran inside and I got more help. I came back outside and I'm climbing the side to get to him until I hear someone say my name. And all of a sudden I see, <laughs> I see Rod Riso. Doomsday is over here walking, Doomsday. looking for the next Doomsday. thing to destroy. He is already like off the next building. <laughs> now, there's speculation about what happened here, what happened there, and who he was with. Look, no one pushed him out the window. He didn't jump out the window. He didn't do anything. Literally, there was a glass break. And a couple seconds later, he fell out the window. Now, that's not saying we don't know what happened in there. Andrew. I wasn't in the room with him. I know that he had friends in the room with him. He had a couple of friends in the room with him. I know that when I was down there talking to him, to, to Robert himself, talking to him on the ground, his friend, he's wearing a white shirt, don't know his name. And I asked him who he was, blah, blah, blah. I told him, go upstairs and get his ID because I need to know anything I can about this guy when the ambulance gets here. Like, we need to know. We need, we need, this guy's life is in danger. And he had another friend wearing a black shirt. And like I said, we don't know these guys. We don't know them. But I know that he was there with at least three, four, maybe five people. Because I know there was three dudes that he was with and I think one girl. I think it was one girl. Yeah. Yeah, one girl. But we know he was there with other people. So you can't say, like, he was doing this, or he was doing that, or he was in this mood. Like, what happened as far as him falling out the window was, it was, he wasn't premeditated. He wasn't jumping. He wasn't push. He wasn't upset. He wasn't, like, just out of his mind. Like, it was just something that happened, you know? Like, I want the best for this guy, you know? When we responded, we didn't know who he was. We didn't know anything that was going on. No. Our immediate response was, this is a guy who fell out the window. We need to... Help him the best that we can. Yeah. Even when we got his name, like me being us. I mean, like I said, we Clemson, Notre Dame, Penn State. That's terrible. But <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to respond the best that we can to our nature. You know, he's a human being, and that was our main concern. <laughs> so now that it's turned into like he was this or he was that, or that his draft stock has plummeted faster than he fell from the first fourth floor to the first floor. I mean, that's just crazy talk. Yeah. Because Dude, I think his draft stock went up. Uh, from what I saw, because of this, the, man, this, this man, man is literally is a monster. I'm talking doomsday. This man is a monster. Uh, You've never seen anything like what we saw that night. And I saw something that I've never seen in my life. That was not a man. That was not a human. That was an animal. And this man literally shook everything off. And was like, I'm all right. We literally had to sit him down to just be like, you know what? You might not be all right. Yeah. You right. might not be, but apparently it's okay. Apparently he is. Apparently he's perfect. After four stories. So you cannot sit here and tell me what I saw with my own eyes that night that this is not an animal. This is not something you would not spend millions of dollars to have on your field to play football. If I was an NFL right coach now. and I saw that, that dude would be on the team Next week. Next week? Next week. I'm talking next. So if you guys have any questions of Robert Doomsday and Dishi, yes, he fell four stories. To correct that, he fell three stories, and then he fell one more. Yeah. And walked away. And, and walked, walked away. away. 
dude had little bits of cuts. I, I, I like I said, I was right there. I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to sat him down. I'm going to do everything. When I say he had little bits of cuts, like I looked at him. I, I checked him for abrasions, like because I didn't know if he needed stitches. I wanted to make sure he wasn't bleeding out. Like I'm not a doctor, but I'm. I stayed at Holiday Inn once. <laughs> we're at high. We're at high. <laughs> but no, I checked him because I wanted to make sure. You know, like I'm looking out for this guy's best interest. Like no getting around it. I'm making sure this guy is gonna live because that's he's a human being. That's Good Samaritan, right? Yeah. You know. So impressive human being, Robert Doomsday. Doomsday and DG. You guys have any questions? You can hit me up on People's Champ Twenty One on uh, Instagram and on Twitter. Hit me up on Twitter at Joel or Zone. You can find me in Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a Twitter soon. <laughs> so that's her story. Like we said, we're telling nothing but facts, not exaggerating anything. We saw him fall. And we saw him get up. Correct that. We saw him fall twice, and we saw him get up. We talked to him. We saw him bleed a little bit. Apparently he's human. <laughs> Slightly. To a certain extent. I don't know what he is. <laughs> we don't know what he is. But that's what we saw. Now what transpired in the room before that or after that or who he's friends with or who the people that were with him. Because like I said, he was there with multiple people. We can't justify that. But as a human being, we were happy that he is okay. As a college athlete, we were happy he's okay. For his future, I want to see him do great. We want to see him do great. But we gave you what we thought, and what we know, and we gave you the facts. If you want to ask what I thought, he's probably upstairs, there's a mad scientist up there pumping him with some stuff we've never seen, just juicing his body up, he's trying to whatever escape? it was. He's probably trying to escape. <laughs> I mean, that's all I know. <laughs> what I saw came out that window was a monster <laughs> that night. A monster. Nothing I've ever seen before. Called Doomsday. Called Doomsday. Doomsday. So here's to Robert Doomsday. Doomsday. Now, with that said, your prediction of who wins the college football playoffs? I'm going to have to go with Clemson. <laughs> yes. I'm going to have to go with Clemson. Clemson. Done deal. Well, we all know I'm part of the Fighting Irish. So with that said, after playing Clemson, I choose Alabama. <laughs> oh. 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 Dirty. Roll tide, roll. Dirty. All right, guys.